Hello, it's Daniel and Gav, and this is the trailer for Tomb Raider DLC, Baba Yaga and the Temple of the Witch. That sounds like that Lady Blacksmith Mambaz or something. Baba, Baba Yaga. Yeah, or it's um, <laughs> it's one of the most seminal figures in Eastern Slavic folklore. Could be, could be either. To well, be no, it's, it's definitely How you it? it's definitely the one I just said. Oh, you know, um, it means if you want to know, it means deformed or ferocious looking woman. Yeah. I'm slightly disturbed by this because. You know, my grandma was from Ukraine, and the word babcha means grandma, and that's derived apparently from Baba. But she was not a evil witch who used to walk on chicken legs. <laughs> oh yeah, because Baba. Some people call their uh, grandparents Baba. Wait, it's, it's like a. It's like I think it derives from like baby talk. Uh, so yeah, this is like the spooky theme DLC coming to Tomb Raider. Is it spooky? Like, well, it, look, it looks pretty spooky. Look at the lighting. That's straight up horror film. Like the green. The forest. So, if this is Slavic or like Slavic folklore, yeah, is she in Eastern Europe here? Maybe. Mm. I like that. Oh my god, it does look really creepy. But in fairness, like Tomb Raider games are always a little bit creepy. Yeah, they've always got a supernatural element, but I yeah. think the tone of this makes it a little bit more nightmarish. Yeah. Yeah, because like I've played Rise of the Tomb Raider, and yeah, you know, inevitably there is that supernatural element. Yeah. But this kind of points towards even though it might appear supernatural, we might have a little bit of like Scarecrow's fear toxin going on. Yeah. Here. These it, kind of orchids, she says in the trailer that there's pollen. Yeah. And I think throughout the, the, the DLC she'll be like lapsing in and out of hallucinations. I quite like that idea because it means that you can still base it in reality, but yeah, you can do like weird stuff with yeah, it. Yeah, you can have your cake in the year. Yeah, like remember Far Cry 3? Like they did kind of played around with that, like those like drugs and stuff in there, so you like hallucinate oh, yeah, and that's stuff. definitely reminds me of that. Yeah. And I'd like the opposite of this, and I think doing something very different with your DLC is always a cool thing. Like yeah, my favourite DLC ever is Undead Nightmare for Red Dead Redemption. Amazing. And yeah. that's supernatural. Actual, but that just kind of goes for it. Yeah. Because they're, they're just zombies now. Yeah. And it plays up the B movie vibe. <laughs> yeah, the zombies like the, deal with it. Yeah, and the colouring of this like reminds me of Undead Nightmare. It I does think, like, some of these skulls are like if you look, this is really creepy. They're gradually, very subtly turning towards yeah. it. Yeah. That's cool. Ah. That's a really cool shot, actually. So yeah, in the trailer, this is um Lara's father, Lord Croft. Yeah. Who plays even though he's no longer around, he's he's passed away. He plays quite a big role in Rise of the Tomb Raider. Without going into spoilers, does he? Yeah, yeah. It's very much because it's you know the, the new Tomb Raider games are kind of a soft reboot. Yeah, it's very much her father was like her, had the same impulses. He but he pushed everyone one away in his life because he was driven by exploration. And it's almost like this dilemma: is Lara going to end up the same way? Yeah, like stop fanaticizing about stuff like your father. Uh -huh. So if this like equivalent of a fear toxin is you know maybe it's mucking with Laura's psychology bringing out her fears and obviously her dad's one of them I really want to play Rise of Tomb Raider yeah, but I, I don't have an Xbox sorry. One oh yeah this is cool see because she's following her dad or the, the specter of her dad anyway and then it could just be an animal or another man coming at yeah. her well, I mean well, it, that is the same thing that has erected in that cave at the beginning Ooh, yeah. almost like given flesh and so sinew do you, do you think like temple of the witch maybe someone's after her or she's stumbled upon like this temple looking for something and this is some do you, do you think there's actually some someone real there tangible or do you think it's just all the i think stuff? it will probably go you know given what the rest of the tomb is like you know there are genuine supernatural elements yeah i think wonder the way with this like pollen hallucinator mm. i think it might go a bit scooby-doo okay there might be someone behind all of this <laughs> uh, but i don't mind that i think that's quite fun yeah this also reminds me a bit of the scarecrow missions oh yeah you know when scarecrow's massive and it's almost like a bit stealthy you've got to hide from him but that's why i love what they're doing with this it just looks very different to the core game. Yeah. It's having fun. And it's putting Laura in a different situation. As you said as well, those are the best DLC. The ones that are just like, take the story that and the characters that you know and just be like, nah, have a bit of fun with it, mate. Yeah, because at no point you go, oh, this should have been in the main game. Yeah. This feels like, you know, a cool epilogue or a short story. Yeah, that's the best ones. Yeah, so she's fighting these creatures. And whether, you know, absent of the pollen, these look like normal dudes. Yeah. Possibly. Um, but yeah, like these like weird ceremonial garb, like they're dressing like animals. It's like some weird cult, maybe. I like in it. Eastern Europe. Mysterious new enemies. Oh yes. So Baba Yaga in the mythology does fly around in like a, a kiln or an urn. Classic Baba. 
Hacker looks a bit like that. Yeah, maybe. Ooh, He's like that. diseased dogs with a similar sort of face to like what the other dudes are wearing. Well. Yeah. I really like the look of this. Hours of new gameplay. Look at that. That's a house with legs. That's chicken legs, like Baba that's, Yaga, yeah, man. So that's Baba Yaga's house with chicken legs. Boom. <laughs> what more do you want in DLC? What's going on? And some massive chicken legs and a house. <laughs> that's what I've been crying out for. <clears throat> I mean, you can't say they're not having a go with it. Like, I really like the idea of it. And it's coming out in January as well. Hmm. 